I'm Dr Emma Quaythorne, consultant dermatologist and founder of Clara, and you've landed on this place to talk a little bit about adult female acne. I'd like to share a bit of my knowledge about this. This is something I see a lot in my practice on a daily basis. Adult female acne can look rather similar to the acne that one might get during puberty, but what tends to happen is that this can be caused by a number of other reasons and not just the surge in hormones that happen at the time of puberty. It's also a little bit different because you might not get the typical blackheads or whiteheads, comedones we call them. You might instead just get the large, red, quite painful, deep rooted lumps or bumps or pustules. They can often occur around the jawline, but in actual fact, adult female acne can occur anywhere on the face and the chest and the back. When we think about what causes it, it can be for a number of other reasons. So yes, you can have hormone imbalances, but sometimes things such as stress or um, oxidative stress on the body, things like smoking, poor diet, lack of sleep, all of these things can also contribute to the formation of adult female acne. We do have to take the hormonal element of it seriously. And just to point out that most people have very normal circulating hormonal levels. But what can sometimes happen is that the end organ, or in this case, the follicular unit, can be a bit more sensitive to those hormones that are circulating. Now, this is something that we're seeing increasingly in frequency. It's also something that can take a great emotional toll on women because they'd look around and perhaps not see all of their peers troubled with this. It's almost easier to cope with in a way in puberty whenever almost everybody has some element of an acne. The other side to adult female acne is that this is something that tends to hang around for some time um, and often it can last right up until the menopausal period. It's therefore incredibly important that your skincare routine is tailored to target this specifically. You don't want to waste your time or money on products that are going to be really harsh or harmful to your skin barrier because that in fact would just make adult female acne worse. You need to use slightly different ingredients or certainly different bases that you would do if this was a teenage type of an acne. The second thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the ingredients that you're using are the most effective and you're not wasting your time or your skin's energy on using ingredients that are suboptimal. So if you've got the right base, so it's a nourishing base with the most effective gold standard ingredients to treat these acneiform lesions, then that is the best thing that you can do to ensure that your skin is in the optimum state. Part of the reason why I invented Clara is many of my patients would get rather bored, shall we say, with having to put on the typical medicines that we would prescribe. I wanted to make something that was full of joy and a pleasure to use and a real thrill at the end of the day to know that you're putting on something that your skin will feel comfortable with. It gives you a sense of pleasure to do. But actually, deep down, it's got the core ingredients that we know treat adult female acne most effectively. I hope you find that helpful and please tune in to the channels I have on social media to learn a bit more.